Mm. Hello everyone. Yeah, it's uh, seven a.m. <laughs> I am just about to head off. So yeah, today is yeah the twenty-fifth of September, and we are heading out to the Norcon Norwich Sci-Fi Convention. And yeah, this is going to be fun because this is yeah this is the first time I've been able to do this in about four or five years now. So yeah, so we missed out um, obviously last year because of the pandemic, but for various reasons I wasn't able to go. So I am very excited. I am not gonna lie, it's a weird combination of excited slash nervous. Like, have I packed everything? Have I done everything? Um, just you know, I think to be honest, I think they're just you know these like. So I'm going to have like sweets on the table, um, so I've got these just so we've got sort of something up front to kind of keep topping up. Um, and I think that's going to be this, and then this um, bag I'm going to use as a, ooh CNN, very vintage, <laughs> which I'm going to use as a rubbish bag because it is about to fall apart, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, I am about to get a lift to uh, Norcom, so thank you very much to Darren Williams of Kings and Queens Casino for sorting that out, that makes life a lot easier, and yeah, next time you see me, uh, fingers crossed, we will be at the stand and everything will be nice and sorted, much love. Okay, here we are everyone, and this is our table, which, you know, subject to change, but as you see at the front here, we have got uh, comics, we've got some little extras here that we've added to our um, gift boxes, which we'll just be getting to. Um, as you can see right back here, here is a gift box, as you can see, same as the cover, which is all a lot of fun. Uh, see, so we've got an issue one, which is some awesome work by Nicholas Webb and Strider Sid. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, so this is by uh, Joel the Swedish Dragon and Settle the Art Freak. Awesome work there. Fantastic stuff by Emily Bandicoot here. And yeah, as I say, our um, and on issue four artist and some absolutely terrific work there. And yeah, like I say, you have gift boxes for all of them. So if you want to come see this, this is what we've got. We've got some nice sweeties here for people. We have stickers. And yeah, like I say, and if you are nervous about handling stuff, we have gloves and we have hand wash. And oh yes little groovy thing here so you're probably wondering what this image is and what this represents this is a little work in progress picture from issue five and so i just want to say a big big thank you to our newest artist claude so welcome on board mate Hi everyone, yeah so it's after um, the second day of Norcon, so I got back yesterday and I was thinking of recording something but I've got to be honest with you, just I think sometimes with cons like you get back and it just catches up with you and I was knackered. Um, yeah so the first day was absolutely fantastic, made a lot of sales, we, we um, you know obviously we saw um, got, you know, the guys um, which was great and Helen um was very supportive on the stand which was great and we had as a caleb aka time master with his 
cosplay, which was fantastic. And the second day, we saw more people, and it was great, and we chatted with people, and it was great. Didn't get any additional sales, though. That was a bit tough, so I was a little bit gutted about that. But overall, was the event worth it? Without question. I think Mark Dean and all the volunteers did an absolutely awesome job. I think... Also, at the time of recording, we're having a whole petrol shortage thing happening in the UK. So the fact that everything kept running as smoothly as it did, I think, is um, you know a massive credit to everyone who was involved. Um, yeah, let's say having Jonathan Reese Davis um, greet us at the stand was really cool. So that was you know he did that on on the first day, sort of went around and said hi to everyone, which was which was really decent. I really appreciated that. Um, yeah, but just a good atmosphere. I <laughs> I ended up doing a um, sales pitch to a Dalek, which was next to me was a, like um, no, I was a clumsy pick, pickle. Next to me was like I can't believe that you actually just did that like straight faced. <laughs> I think it's just because like I said, if you get in the zone enough, like your brain just goes, "Yep, yeah, this is absurd. I'm going with it." <laughs> and I think you know I did improv, so that helps. Um, so yeah, we do have some stock. So. Next couple of days, I will be sorting out a few things, so that will involve getting some more stock out to um, local shops. Also, will involve because um, I did promise that if we had some over, I would give a donation to um, a local Samaritan shop. So I will be doing that too because it's a charity that's very important to us. While I'm here, um, another charity which uh, I will sort of make kind of reference to in here as well. Um, Mind were also like like the main charity at the event, and they are an absolutely fantastic charity. Like in addition to sort of raising awareness about mental health issues, uh, they are also responsible for things like low cost counselling, which gives people access to counselling, which like otherwise would prove difficult. And I've got to say, is an excellent service. So yeah, fantastic. But yeah, so the other thing I can talk about, and I will again, I have a little preview image for what we've got so far. I want to welcome on board a new artist, which I'm very happy to say. So for issue five, this is, we had a few aims for this year. So to break this down, so we wanted uh, a cosplay. Not only did we get a cosplay, we got um, Time Master's absolutely fantastic rope coal cosplay. But we also got um, Mrs. Zane doing a casual cosplay as AK Girl. And I've also just put up a video of her doing a skit as AK Girl and Wonder Vixen taken from Alternatron. And she did an absolutely awesome job playing both parts. It was, it was great. So watch that. And yeah, so the fight, but like I say, the big one was to get an artist for issue five. And I'm very happy to say Claude has come in. And already his um, approach I'm really impressed with. I think he's very professional. I think he's, you know, been very sort of open and, you know, asking the right questions, working very hard. And there will be some more preview stuff as it comes. Uh, as we've done with the previous issues, we will be doing a DeviantArt premium folder. Um, obviously, if you donate to Patreon and Kofi, that will come through there as well. We kind of wanted to save this as a thing for Norcom because obviously when people come down and see us and thankfully they did so yeah all in all an absolutely excellent event and yeah like I say we just kind of keep going and um, you know <laughs> roll on next year when fingers crossed we'll have issue 5 ready much love bye